added frustration tonight to an already nerve wracking process for students and their families. There's more delays in the federal student aid process, and that means kids hoping to go to college still don't know if they've gotten crucial aid to pay for it. Richard Reeve explains how colleges and universities are handling it. For many on the U of M campus, student loans are a part of academic life. Without FAFSA, like a lot of people aren't able to go to school or afford going to school. But changes to FAFSA, short for free application for federal student aid, are having a bumpy rollout. This week, the Department of Education announced millions of the student loan forms won't be sent to colleges and universities until mid-March. It was just kind of tricky trying to figure out when should we do this, how should we do this, and you know, when is this going to reopen again. Two big problems. A new simplified form mandated by Congress meant students couldn't fully access applications until the first week of the year. That's triggering delays of financial aid offers from schools, putting more pressure on students. Some of us are waiting for like our parents to help us fill out some of that information. Like we need as much time as possible to make sure that, you know, we get all the right stuff. Last week, the education department confirmed it had failed to update the tables used to calculate student eligibility based on inflation. It's drawing criticism from Republicans in Congress who are now asking for answers from the government accountability office. So colleges are unable to create financial aid offers because they don't have the FAFSA data they need from the United States Department of Education. In a statement, the U of M says it's assessing the May 1st enrollment confirmation deadline for admitted freshmen. For students preparing for midterms, all this only adding to the academic load. That can be stressful, having private loans, FAFSA loans, um, and remembering on top of everything else, you have to remember that you have to do that, yeah. And the University of Minnesota says it is processing that FAFSA's paperwork as fast as they can, as soon as they get that information from the Department of Education. They're also saying if families have not uh, put in their paperwork, they should do so immediately. Now, the uh, Minnesota state system says they are processing that information as soon as it is available. They also say they don't expect the delay to have an impact on any financial aid awards. Reporting live, Richard Reeve, 5 Eyewitness News. What a bad situation. Richard Reeve reporting. Thank you.